Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk about the Tilta Nucleus Nano 2 uh, focusing system. So uh, this kit right now that I have comes with this uh, hand wheel, also have a, a grip here, uh, and also I have two motors. Now there are different versions of this kit you can get, for example you can get also just more motors. You can actually, technically you can control up to four motors with uh, the hand wheel and then the grip. Uh, so, for example, if you had, uh, let's say, a you know, Zoom, Iris, they wanted to control, uh, Focus, obviously, and then, let's say, maybe a, a variable ND filter, you could do that. Uh, in my case, I usually, with my cinema lenses, just want to have the ability to control the, the Iris and the Focus. So, in straightforward, I mean, you have this hand wheel here, and with this, you can control the Focus, as you can see. Setting this up is fairly easy once you know to connect these cables basically the proper way. The, these are basically the USB-C cables that power the motors. Now you, you are going to have to power these motors some way. Uh, the, when you get this kit, they provide you with the cables. So uh, in this case, I got the USB-C cables and a PTAP to USB-C uh, cable. So I'm actually powering using the, my V-mount battery here on the back of the camera. I'm powering the, the first motor and then from that I'm going to daisy chain linking to the other motor, so it's kind of sharing the power in between those two motors. Of course, you could also power these motors using any USB battery bank. Now, the hand wheel is actually uh, powered by an internal uh, lithium-ion battery as uh, you recharge, and uh, the hand grip is actually powered with a, a Sony NPF-style battery that you put here uh, on the bottom. Now, this battery was not included in the kit, so you will have to get that separately, and obviously a charger for it. Now you do also have an option to power this grip uh, using the USB-C cable. There's a little plug here on the side. Uh, so you can do that. And then the same thing with uh, the hand wheel. If the hand wheel, let's say, runs low on battery, uh, then you have a USB-C here uh, connection on the bottom. And you can uh, power it using that. Now the big improvement in the version 2 of the Nucleus Nano uh, is that the hand wheel has a touch screen and it's a very nice touch screen that allows you to do a lot of things, a lot of customization. Things that I'm not going to be able to show you here because it would take a long time, but there is actually a really, really good video that uh, Tilta released on their YouTube channel that I'm going to link in the description of this video, uh, where they, sh they show you basically every possible setting that you could have. And that video, I believe, is like two or three hours long. So if you guys want to see all those options and what's possible, uh, then, then uh, again, check that video out. But in short, it's a touch screen, so you can see swipe, you can have different settings here, uh, you can you know adjust the motors, uh, the intensity of the motors, things like that. Uh, you can also adjust, for example, like here you can switch to different, like let's say camera controls. And just like in the previous version, or just, just like for example with the DJI uh, Focus Pro or the small rig uh, wireless focus system, uh, you can control cameras, but what's cool with the Tilta Nucleus Nano 2 is you can control more than just basically start or stop record button on your camera. You can actually control uh, like the actual settings, like you can change the f-stops, you can change the... Uh, obviously, if you're working with lenses that, that have uh, electronic controlled f-stops, but you can change ISOs, you can change shutter speeds, things like that. Now, this will not work, obviously, with every camera. The Tilta, basically, right now, uh, supports the Blackmagic cameras. So if you have a Blackmagic camera, you, you're in luck because it, is, it will work with that. And it can, you can connect over Wi-Fi, over uh, Bluetooth, for example, connections. Um, or you can actually connect using a USB-C cable to directly to the different cameras. And this wireless focus system also will allow you to control uh, various Sony and uh, Canon cameras. Now, not all of them, but the list is changing. So again, check out their website basically for the updated list. So, for example, I'll switch here to the menu for the, you know, controlling the actual lens. Uh, as you can see, I can control the focus, like I said. Uh, and for example, the cool thing about this is that you actually have like a free rotating wheel that you can have basically like a maximum, basically, you know, clockwise or counterclockwise rotation. So it will actually stop there and then that will automatically map it whenever you are uh, basically configure these, these, this lens uh, to these motors. It will automatically map it to the maximum, uh, uh, you know, basically rotation of your focus or let's say zoom or uh, iris ring. Now, if you don't want that, they actually have a switch here on the top. You can switch from TF to DF and then it's basically 
you can keep on rotating so you can see this will keep on rotating but once it reaches obviously the end of the motor it will stop you know given again that you've calibrated the motors to this lens so as you can see you can do that too you can also do like you can very quickly for example set like these little haptic feedback for example markers so let's say i want to set a you know marker here somewhere and i'm just going to press the little function button here and it's going to put a little marker there and now whenever i go over that mark I can still go past it if I want to, so I can still go past, but I'm going to feel like a little vibration there. And then the same thing, let's say I want to have another mark, and then another mark, you can set as many marks as you want. And you're going to feel like a basically very, very subtle vibration here, so you know that you've reached one of your marks. Uh, you can also double tap here to delete these marks, so you can go here and clear them. Now if you want to, you can also, let's say, restrict it. So let's say you want to go from this focus point, you're going to press the A and B button here. And for example, if I hold it, you're going to see it's going to set this little range there. And then now I can go and you can see here on the wheel it's showing me how far in the rotation I am. And I can just tap it again. And now suddenly it will not go past this. As you can see, I, I can keep on rotating the, the hand wheel, but it will not go past that mark. So you can do it that way. And for example, if you do it in the TF setting, then suddenly that short range of rotation on, let's say, on your focus uh, you know, wheel right now it will be remapped to, for example, go all the way from one extreme of the hand wheel to all the way to the other extreme. So suddenly you have very, very fine control. Now, if you don't want that, if you actually want to be able to quickly zoom in, then again, you can recalibrate it so that only if you rotate a quarter of the wheel, you know, you can, you can basically control and go all the way from infinity to the closest focus point. And things like that again there's a ton of customization but that's one thing maybe i would say is it's great and it's bad about the system is that when you're going to first get it trust me you're going to have to sit down watch that video from tilta you know look at all their, their website like all the support you know read the manual all this stuff because there's so many things that if you take this like i did the first day out there just filming i i was getting lost i just couldn't figure it out like i remember first i had a nightmare trying to figure out how to get both motors connected to this and calibrated properly. But after, once you learn how to do it, it's very simple, very straightforward. Like actually right now, let's say if I you know, adjusted the motors or I, or I just swapped the lens, then I could very quickly go here and just by pressing holding the function button, it's gonna show you here one, two, and three seconds. And you can see it will automatically now calibrate all of the motors that you have connected. And like I said, you can have up to four motors with this. So, you know, the way to do, like, there's a lot of really neat ways of doing this and very fast ways of doing it. But again, because there's so many possibilities, so many things you can do with this operating system, it's going to take you a while first to kind of just get a hang of it and, and learn to, to, to use it. Versus, for example, like a system like, like this small rig wireless focus system. That one, it's limited in many ways, but it's also very simple. That one, you you know, literally just started it up and there's only a few, you know, things that you can do with it. And it works for basic, basically pulling focus or adjusting your iris or, or zoom. And you don't really have to read any manual or nothing because again, it's very straightforward. But at the same time, you don't have as many possibilities as you do with the system. So definitely if you want to have pretty much any possible way that you'd want to set up a wireless focus or zoom or, or iris system, uh, to, to work with your camera rig, you can pretty much do it with this. It's just like I said, you know, take the time to figure it out. And that's also what I would say, like comparing it to some of the other ones, like if you compare it to the DJI Focus uh, Pro system that I recently reviewed, this actually does give you, with the current firmware that I have on the DJI Focus Pro, and this one, this, uh, this system actually gives you more options for customizations of, of the system. DJS Focus Pro, I'm pretty sure they're going to be improving with it. The, the version of the firmware that I was using was the, the, the pre-release or like, you know, the beta version. So I haven't actually had a chance to update that system yet and use the latest, you know, officially released firmware. But at the time when I reviewed it, this system did give you more options and more ways to calibrate it. Now, of course, the big advantage of the DJI Focus uh, Pro uh, kit is that that one actually also has the LiDAR and the LiDAR basically allows you to not just operate this whole wireless focus system manually, but you can actually have autofocus system using the, the LiDAR. So that's a great thing, which is something that obviously Tilta can't do, or the one from, you know, from SmallRig also can't do.
Now, what about this, uh, this grip here? Well, this grip, you can actually use it in conjunction with this. It has little like connections here and you can put it together. So you can have it, for example, like if you wanted to, it's kind of like that. And as you can see, you can have like a nice sort of a grip here that you're holding. And then this way you can uh, rotate it and adjust the focus, right? And now when you have the hand wheel connected to a hand grip, it just makes it sort of easier to hold it like this. You can, you know, freely adjust the, the hand wheel. Uh, you can adjust your focus, you know, here you have your rocker here for the, uh, for the iris in this case. Again, you can reprogram all of these or basically change this so that the focus wheel actually controls something else. You know, let's say your variable ND filter or your iris or you can change all of these things around or, or this rocker does something different. And you can also configure it so that this wheel here on the front of the grip uh, also allows you to, for example, control any of your motors that you have. And the same thing with the little joystick. You have a joystick here, and you can also use that to control one of the motors. You have also a record button and all of that stuff. So yeah, you, you can do, again, endless amount of customization because of the software that's built into it. And I think if you're gonna get this kit, it just makes sense uh, to get this sort of a hand grip together with the wheel, uh, because if you're gonna be operating basically more than one motor, it, it is sometimes nice to be able to, for example, have, let's say, your, your right hand to just control the, the focus and let's say, you know, map the, the here, the turning wheel here on the grip to, let's say, control your zoom or your iris in this case. So it's just, again, I think it's just a more comfortable way of working it with it. And you can also this way power it, like I said, using uh, the Sony NPF style battery here on the bottom. Now you can also, for example, connect uh, the system to the DJI uh, RS two or three or four now uh, gimbals uh, so that you can actually control the gimbals. So in certain settings within the gimbal using this, like for example, you could use this hand wheel to actually control the focus system on your Ronin gimbals in, in that case. And I'm pretty sure that Tilta will be adding, as they already have been adding, new functionalities and new basically hardware support, uh, you know, through firmware upgrades to the system. Now, if you want my sort of quick uh, comparison of this to the DJI Focus Pro or uh, the uh, small rig wireless focus system, then I would say the Tilta, again, gives you the most customization. Because of that, though, it's a little bit more complex first when it comes to learning all the functions. Uh, but in that sense, it really beats out the, all the other systems. The only thing, of course, I would say out of those three, the DJ Focus Pro, again, has the ability to have, you know, autofocus using the LiDAR system. So that's really the only difference. But if you just want like a, a fully capable and customizable wireless focus system and you don't care about the autofocus functionality, then definitely take a look at uh, the Tilta Nucleus Nano 2. In my experience so far of using this, which by the way, I have not used this on an actual production because I haven't been shooting anything recently. Uh, most of my work recently has been at the computer doing post-production on various projects. So this was just basically kind of running and gunning and doing little basically tests uh, around my town uh, as I was doing various, basically testing the different cameras and lenses and stuff. Which, oh, actually, I should mention, the system has the ability here, like if you, uh, for example, scroll, you can uh, actually, it has a whole bunch of lenses already stored that uh, basically Tolta I guess uploaded all these different settings and I'm pretty sure again they're going to be adding more but you can also add your own custom lenses you can name them and you can calibrate them and you can basically customize it so you can have like a library of lenses that you can uh, store there and then once you have that it makes it so much easier when you swap a lens and then you pick one of your lens profiles and it knows already what settings for example like the amount of torque and how fast it should operate with that lens and all that stuff you can customize it per each lens so that's like a really cool thing that again you can't really do with the other two systems so far my impressions of using the system have been great i haven't had any issues battery life has always been enough like i said you can always plug in a usb power bank to any of these motors or hand grip or the hand wheel and you can still power it that way uh, I haven't used it for that many hours in a row, so I've never actually completely depleted the battery in any of these. Uh, and, and like I said, the system hasn't failed me. The only issue, like I said, was the first time when I didn't go and didn't actually learn how to properly set up and calibrate all of it. And I just went out there shooting and I basically got frustrated with it. So that was the only time. But other than that, yeah, the system works great uh, and uh, seems pretty robust. You know, seems very well built, just like their previous one. 
So really can't find anything I would say negative you know, uh, to say about it. Maybe the only negative thing I could say is again, it's it's there's so many fun capabilities, so much, so much functionality in this that trust me, you will want to <laughs> you know spend like the first day just sort of going through the official document documentation, the manuals, whatever. Watch the videos that Tilta released, just so you really get familiar with what all the different settings do. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. And also let me know uh, what kind of other videos you guys want me to do, whether it's specific reviews of, of certain camera gear uh, or specific filmmaking tutorial or things like that. Again, let me know either by leaving me a comment or even better, head on over to my website on tomantosfilms.com and let me know there. All right, that's it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.